So the question is, how do I know what clients to go after effortlessly instead of pushing and shoving? I think it might be this or it might be that. I think that's a clear question. Yeah, you won't go after them. They'll just come to you. That's that's kind of what's going to be the precise client rather than you going after them. They will come to you. And Damien, I think, you know, in listening to what you said, too, is give yourself some credit. Like you're you're doing far better than you think. The fact that you're doing Facebook lives, which I've I've watched some of them and you are loving it and you are having fun and you are joyfully expressed and and it really shows and says a lot about who you are and what you do like that is a very allowing easy effortless thing as I watch that that you do that right and then in your mind you're kind of going but shouldn't I be doing something else like aren't there other rules here like should I be networking also should I be reaching out to others should I be right like all of that starts to come in when you think about this it's as easy as there is a seed that will grow and it will feel good every step of the way in other words you start and there's nothing but a thought that comes into your mind. And then an initial little bit of thinking you get, an inspiration you get is around, um, may, may, maybe I should be doing a Facebook Live. And you do it and it starts to feel good. And suddenly momentum ensues. Here's what you need to know is that wisdom is guiding you by that feeling. There's a reason Joseph Campbell said, follow your bliss. This good feeling of doing this will keep moving and moving and moving always in the direction of bliss. So it will expand and expand and expand. You know, Any you doing you spit, do will feel better. You just made it clear the difference between want to and have to. 